Sup emails. Okay, today I'm gonna be doing a review, and I know you hate those most of the time, but this is a review of the most amazing TV show I have ever seen in my entire life. I am reviewing the Netflix original series, Stranger Things. Now let me tell you something about it. I'd heard of Stranger Things because of the internet. It was all over Twitter, loads of people were watching it, people were delving in, and they were obsessed. So I finally started watching it. Stranger Things is a Netflix original series that is set in 1983, and it stars Winona Ryder. The point is that the reason I started watching it was because of the internet, but also it just kept on coming up. It was like one of the most popular things at the time and I was just like eh, I'll finally watch it. I kind of thought I knew what it was about because everyone was like oh it's scary and like putting alien emojis so I thought oh it's about aliens. Ha ha ha. Now let me tell you before this video gets any third of mm, any further I'm gonna have to tell you there will be spoilers so be careful. If you have not watched Stranger Things I want you to pause this video get on Netflix and watch the entire series. It is eight episodes, I really hope I did that right, it's eight episodes of pure agonizing pain because you're just like, why is there only eight episodes? It starts November 6th, 1983, four days after Mary Winchester is killed. I'm not kidding, this TV show hurt me as soon as I saw the date. I was like, nope, nope. No, you're not allowed to reference Supernatural while watching this. There is no connection because Supernatural doesn't have aliens. I started the show. I had no idea what it was about at all. I started watching. I delved into happiness. It was, the cinematography is amazing. It's purely the most aesthetic thing I've ever seen in the history of aesthetic. Okay, it's uh, and Winona Ryder, okay, everybody had a crush on Winona Ryder when they were younger, okay? She was like the queen of Tim Burton and horror. Winona Ryder was like the queen of creepy, okay? And everybody loves Winona Ryder because she's the queen of creepy. So when I found out she was starring on the show, I was like, oh, she doesn't look different, but she does. Like, you knew it was Winona Ryder, but you were like, <laughs> like you just have that reaction and it's like, oh she got old, that's just really Now, it's said in the 1980s, which means I was freaking out because I love the 80s aesthetically. It's beautiful. Like it's it's everything right now. And other things about it, it's creepy. Like it's not like oh it's super scary and everything. It's like sophisticated creepy. There are jump scares. If you have epilepsy, do not watch this. Or if you are sensitive to flashing lights, this has a lot of flashing lights, okay? It is not for the pain at heart. It's one of those shows where if you watch it, you're gonna wanna watch everything. It's kind of like X-Files, but it's just one story. So the story starts with this boy, Will, disappearing. And everyone's like, where is he? What's going on? And they unlock this government conspiracy, which is why I really don't like the government at all. More so now that I've watched this show. Um, but what's happening is someone, it's supposed to be aliens, but I say it's an alternate universe. Now, I watch a lot of sci-fi, so I know theories. This is an alternate universe theory for the nerds. It's also, it's not an alien, okay? I'm telling you that now. It is a creature that in their universe, they're considered normal, and in our universe, they are twisted and turned into something horrible. What happened was the government messed with it. This is what they do. They mess with the thing they shouldn't mess with, okay? Um, the cast is amazing at what they do. The main little girl, Eleven, she is amazing. I'm not kidding, not just the character, but the actress, she's so good at portraying this character that doesn't understand anything really about the world. 
and they're learning and they're speaking and they're figuring things out. And it's so I'm in love. I'm in love with this show. When I started the show, there's this character, the sheriff. And I did not like him, but then he started getting better. But at the end of the eight episodes, it's like, what the is going on? What the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? What? What? You're just like, what is this? What is this show? What does it mean? What is it talking about? I don't know. No one knows. I'm just really invested. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a second season. They keep on talking about it because it's so good. It's gotten so many reviews. That's one of the best things Netflix has ever done. It's one of those shows when you're just like, yes, yes, I like it. Yes, I'm invested. I'm not leaving. Okay, I joined another phantom. Um, I'm gonna talk about each character now. Winona Ryder's character, Joyce, she's the mom of the kid that gets taken. And I'm so sad. Okay, I felt sorry for her for the entire TV show, but she's so devoted to finding her son that you're just like, yes, this is something I would do if my kid went missing. I couldn't explain it, okay? I would do all of this. I always go to the worst conclusion. And she went, he's not dead. He can't be dead. He's not dead, okay? And that was, she had so much faith, okay? She had so much faith that her son was alive, and that was the beauty of Winona Ryder's character. The sheriff, I thought it was an ass when I first started watching the show, but then I realized he's just this sad man who needs a lot of help. Okay, he just needs somebody. And I understood him as they were doing flashbacks. I was like, oh, pain, I'm in pain. This guy is so sad and I'm not okay with this. I'm sad. This is mean. Why would you do this? There are other characters in the show. There's Jonathan, the older brother of Will. Son of a bitch. Like, I didn't like him at first because I initially thought he's a stalkery serial killer dude. He looks like he was a serial killer. And I was like, but at the end of the series, I was like, okay, you make a little bit of sense now, but you really don't. Uh, Nancy, the girl who is the brother of Mike. Let's get to the older ones. Nancy, I didn't understand her at first. I thought she's just this young girl who's super smart, but she's figured, but she's like, she doesn't think she has the potential to be as great as she is. And I'm like, Sweetie, what are you doing in this relationship? Get out! Get out of there! Leave! Go with your friend Barbara! Barbara! Um, her boyfriend Steve was an ass! I hated him. I just, I know people like that now. It's not just the 80s. There are people like that now and they suck. I, I don't like him. I did not like Steve. He was a timid little crazy cat. He was just... I didn't like him. I didn't like him at all. And I still don't like him. Okay, I want Nancy and Jonathan together right now. But I do not like Steve. Okay, let's move on to the kids. Mike is Nancy's younger brother. He's the one that helps Eleven the most. He's the one that's most invested in finding Will. And he's the one that cares so much about what's going on. And that kid, he he's so devoted to finding his friend. And I'm like, ah, this tiny child. I, I'm worried about him. He's so small and scared and tiny. Um, the other kids, I forgot their names immediately. But the curly-haired boy, um... Can I have him as my child? I want that kid. He's so cute. He makes me happy. He's adorable. He has no teeth. And the black boy, I don't remember his name. Sorry. But oh my god! He made so much more sense than everybody else. I thought he was kind of being rude to Eleven. 
Um, but then I realized what he was doing was like helping her. Eleven. Let me tell you, that girl is a masterpiece. Where did she go? What's going on? Um, the alternate dimension is known as the Upside Down, and I'm like, there are a lot of Dungeons and Dragons references, so I kind of really have to play Dungeons and Dragons now. But this show, it goes from this week of finding this boy, and then it goes to Christmas time, and I'm like, how'd you go from this to this? Okay, it's December 25th, 1983. Where will you start it next? January? Boxing Day? When will New Year's Eve? Like, when are you gonna start it again? And New Year's Eve, I, Jonathan and Nancy just gonna kiss, and it's gonna be like, ah, thank God for life. Okay, I have many, 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 many questions about this show. It's aesthetically pleasing in so many ways, and I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love with this show. The creature? Oh, it was like watching a horror movie, but not. It's it's not an alien. I'm telling you that now. My theory is is an alternate dimension. The government messed with a portal. It's not freaking aliens. There are genetic mutations. That monster was a child or something? I don't know. It's genetic mutations and an altered universe. That's all I'm saying. That's my theory. This show is my life now. Stranger Things has taken over my mind. I need to check something. Okay. We're close to almost done. But the problem with this TV show is that it's so frustrating that there are only eight episodes. And I'm like, where the best? Where the rest? Where the rest? Like that's when I do my like, I thought it was gonna be a 13 episode series, cause that's what I'm used to. I'm used to 13 or 23. Now it's eight episodes and I'm like, what? That's not okay. But it's set in chapters, each episode is a chapter and I'm like, oh. It's so, it's so aesthetic. Okay, if you are obsessed with aesthetic and 80s and horror movies, then this show is for you. Okay, if you're a giant nerd and you're interested in aliens or alternate universes or Dungeons and Dragons, then this show is perfect, okay? I got into it because the internet and now I can't get through anything, but I want to thank the creators of Stranger Things for creating this masterpiece. Um, and that's my review of the TV show. Uh, give me a second. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on your videos I should make next. The only reason I made this was because this TV show has taken over my life. Okay, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a mediocre day. This is the worst setup of a YouTube video ever. I'm turning into a weirdo.